Good morning, it's Wednesday, September the 15th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kondakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, looks like we're back in the full swing of things. We've got a ton of press releases. I've got four great press releases for you, two from the Canadian side, two from the U.S. side, and I've got three halts to report on in the second segment of our show. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Barkersville Gold Limited. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol BGM. Timely news given that gold has now broken through its all-time highs. The company is announcing today that they've poured their first gold door bar. Uh, actually, it was poured last week on September 8th, weighing approximately 314 ounces. And that continuous full gold production has now been achieved at the QR Mine and Mill, which is located in central British Columbia. Congratulations to Spiro Coletus, a good friend of ours, who put us on to this news this morning. They're announcing that the next gold door bar, approximately 500 ounces, is planned to be poured tomorrow, Thursday, September the 16th, with a company planning to pour gold door bars every five to six days. And this is on a basis looking to produce 50,000 ounces of gold in the first year of production. So once again, timely news given that gold is now broken through its all-time highs. A uh, little bit about the company. They've been developing its Caribou Gold project in Barkersville, B.C., putting it into full production. They're last at $0.90, cents, high of $1.75, low of $0.55, cents, mark cap of approximately $52 million. Moving on to our next company, Sand Spring Resources. Trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol SSP. Once again, we've got some gold results, gold results here. It's an update on their gold and copper asset results from their property, which is located in Guyana, South America. Highlights from this press release include hole number 93, which intercepted 110 meters of 0.9 grams per ton of gold and 0.06% copper. And within that same hole, we've got another intercept of 56 meters containing 1.1 grams per ton of gold and 1% copper, uh, or sorry, 0.1% copper. Uh, a little bit about the company, they're a new company uh, representing 10 years of private operational experience in the Republic of Guyana. Uh, obviously now they are public. Company is last at $1.88. High of 218, low of 65 cents, market cap of approximately 163 million dollars. Now moving over to the U.S. side, I've got China Sun Group High Tech Company. Uh, they trade on the over-the-counter bulletin board under the symbol CSGH. They are a supplier of raw materials for rechargeable lithium-ion batteries in China. So it's part of the green movement, something you might want to take a look at if you're interested in those kinds of stocks. They're announcing results for the year ended May 31st, 2010. I've got some highlights which include revenue increased 11% over the previous fiscal year to $41 million. They've got operating margins of 28%, net profit margin of 21%, and earnings per diluted share of $0.16. Cents. And additionally, looking forward, the company is announcing that for the fiscal year 2011, they expect revenues to be in the range of 56 to 58 million, and net income is expected to be between 10 to 11 million dollars. Uh, companies last at 66 cents, high of 235, low of 60 cents, so they're trading in and around their bottom, market cap of approximately 35 million dollars. And finally, we've got Gulf Resources trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol GFRE. They're a manufacturer of bromine, crude salt, and specialty chemicals in China. The company has announced that they've raised their guidance for fiscal year 2010 based upon the favorable bromine pricing environment. A uh, little bit about that, uh, the Gulf Resources, they've raised their 2010 guidance to between 151 to $155 million in revenue. That's up from 146 to 150. Uh, they're also announcing that they've raised their net income guidance from between 44 to 46 million. They're raising it up to 48 to 50 million dollars, uh, and that's equivalent to a 57 percent to 63 percent increase over their net income for 2009, which was approximately 30 million dollars. Uh, a little bit about the company. They believe that they're one of the largest producers of bromine in China. Elemental bromine is used to manufacture a wide variety of compounds used in industry and agriculture. Companies last at $6.68, high of $14.94, low of $5.92, mark cap of approximately $231 million. Now, moving on to the halts, I've got three for you. 
Continental Minerals, a trade on the venture under the symbol KMK, halted pending news. Getty Copper trades on the venture under the symbol GTC, halted pending news. And finally, we've got Sand Spring Resources, one of the press releases that I'd mentioned earlier today, halted pending news. Their symbol is SSP. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.